Good morning, everyone. I've heard for a long time there's a lake back here, but when I found it, found the, this preserve, I asked the hikers and they said, no, there's no lake. Clearly they must have only stayed on the main trail. There's new signs here. And guess what they say? There's three lakes here. That's where I went first and hiked up to about there, that bench. Didn't go no further. Found out these new signs showed me there's a place to park. Normally you see my videos right here. But I've been venturing into this new place and it's big. And it's got three lakes. So we're here. I could take that trail, I plan to someday, but today we're going to go all the way to here before that bend and backtrack on that red trail and see if we can find Brigham Lake. So let's do this. Let's go get lost. Might find it and come back and go down that trail. Alright, we're starting at 1.5. There's a little bit of a trailer park here. If I were to live in a trailer, it would be here on the trail. By the way, I'm trying a pedometer. I tried it for the first time yesterday and I had 30,000 steps, I think. This doesn't like where I have it, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to see how many steps we end up after all this. Probably not too many. We'll see. Here we go. We got it on my sexy sock. Got us a nice red robin. Hmm. Little boardwalk bridge, just like the one at Kimball Pines. Get out and explore. It's so quiet and pretty out here. Wood ducks I just scared off. Sorry, wood ducks. They scream like little girls. I feel like I won the lottery. Okay, we made it. Here we go. We hiked from here to here. Right behind me is a trail. I'm gonna hike this trail to Brigham Lake. And I'm gonna hike back up. Hike over and find the North Country Scenic Trail. And we're gonna try to go back to the car where we started this way. We'll see. Here we go. another trail down there. I suppose I should have thought of that. One thing I hadn't considered, that map shows the trails, but that doesn't mean there are other trails. And those could throw me off. That map can be considered an optical illusion and make you get lost worse than if you hadn't seen a map. It almost looks like a trail, but it could be a wash, too. You'd think I'd have a lot further to go. Let's take a peek. Looks like maybe it 
used to be a trail. Maybe we'll stumble upon a trail that's obviously it. Wow. It's like hidden treasures. If only you could smell it down here. Oh man, it smells good down here. And it sounds pretty. Oh, it smells good down here. Pretty smells. By the way, there's no fatwood here. It's all hardwoods here. I found my shadow. The sun is rising. Going to bring a lot of heat. It's nice and chilly right now. Oh yeah. And another thing the map doesn't show you. The hills, the ups and downs, and climbing arounds. Check this out. Main Esker Trail. Consumer's Energy Trail. Boardwalk. You are here. I've hiked this whole brown one so far. But we ain't done the inside yet. We're doing that right now. So what this means is, that trail I did find that was blocked, was a trail. And right now, this way is back to uh, where I used to come parking at. And this way is back to where I'm parked at right now. These trails might be shorter than I realized. Still cool though. And that is Brigham Lake. So which lake are we going to see next? So hopefully we can find Hale Lake. This is where we're going. Down here, back up to the car. I'm sure a few people know about all these spots. It's all about who gets to them first. But there's certainly huge potential for morel mushrooms out here. Yeah. First come, first serve with the mushrooms. They got new competition. <laughs> yeah. Pretty beautiful place out here. Let's see if we can get a panoramic of that. Not bad. Camera. Oh, cool. Let's take pictures. Oh, I see signs of a lake. I can't remember the name of it. What name was that other lake? Brigham. This one's supposed to start with an H. Certainly is a beautiful time of the year. Cool. Let's see if we can zoom in on that bird. Can't tell what it is. That water is crystal clear. You almost can't even tell it's water. It looks like a mirror, but that's water. That's so cool. And right there's the top of the water. I keep scaring wood ducks. Oh, baby wood ducks. Right in that mirror shine water. Aw. Missed them. Aw. Missed them. 
Look at what I found. Found another one. Here we go. That's where we started. There's where we went. And now we're here. So the lake's just ahead. This is fun. Yeah, the place isn't as big as I thought. Okay, so this means that the trail back to the car is that way yonder. And this is the little stretch to the lake. And then we come back and we go that way. To the lake. Can't remember what the name was, I forgot to look. Is this how it's gonna be? They're gonna put up new signs showing us the trails that aren't clearly no more. I think if uh, they're gonna put up signs and show all the trails, they need to make sure they're up to date. I assume that this is the trail, just like the other one to the other lake. So I went down that. And before I choose to go that way, I'm going to backtrack to that map. Okay, I see what I did here. And by the way, it's Hall Lake. Hall or Hale? Yeah, Hall Lake. So the mistake that I made was I assumed the trail up there so that little tiny trail does not go to the lake. It does, but it's blocked and they haven't cleared it. So had we continued, we would have been on the North Country Trail back to the car. I want to go check this trail out a little bit. I don't know. It's right over here. Yeah, that's confusing. It says North Country Trail that way. And even that sign says so. But the map... The map says... Yeah, the map and the trail are wrong. I think. I mean, look, the blue dot is the North Country Trail, and the red line is the OTT, Biological Preserves Trail. But when we try to go this way, it says North Country Trail. When I went this way, this route was an OTT trail sign. So, they got this marked as North Country, and this marked as Local Preserve Trail. Hmm. Bad. Shame on the parks and recreation. Yeah, we'll find you on Facebook and I'll tell you maybe what we'll do, unless I get too hot and too tired, we might just do that whole circle about. We'll see. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and treat this like the North Country Trail. And we're going to see if we can come back from around that way and end up right back here. Maybe. I wanted to check this out because it looked like he went down by the water. Yeah, bad map. Bad. Amtrak. Planes and trains, you can't escape them. The ferns are so purty, and the water's so reflective, no matter how dirty, it's still purty. I just found the first pine, but there's some white pines up there, and I was mistaken about the train. It's a cargo train. I'm in a different area. Amtrak train is uh, a little further south. Up north here is the other train track with the cargo rail. 
Okay, the first good spot to sit, drink some water, take my meds and have a snack. Cheers. Red winged blackbird. Nice place for a bird to call home. <laughs> That's cool how my camera balances out. Well, wow, that was rather quick. I'm all ready to the power lines. And right up there's my car. I can see it from here. There it is. We're not ready to finish hiking. Screw that. Let's circle around. We ain't got lost yet. By the way, this would be a good place to look for... Oh! There it is. Asparagus. Unfortunately, it's fenced off. I'm sure there's more. Baby pines. What kind of pines we got here? Cool. That's either Scotch pine or red pine. Five needles, not two, so they're not white. Meh. Meh. Good old cat bird. I smell something so purty. I wish I knew what it was. Oh, it smells so purty. There's the culprit. Cat bird. And a morning dove. Some white pines. Man, I can't get over how good it smells out here. Yay, we made it to the top. I'm still technically legally handicapped. This is what the map says the North Country Trail is, but it's not. It's actually the local preserve trail. Everything should be downhill from now. <laughs> I believe these are the white pines I first saw earlier when I was down at the bottom of the hill on the water. It's not totally a hardwood forest. Hope my knees don't give out. It'd be a runaway train. I think that's the one that takes us to the south end. Check it out on the map when we get back to it. I heard a pecker would. Get that skeeter for me. <laughs> okay, looks like we have officially done a circle about. I recall being here on the other side of this sign. And there's the supposed trail to the Lake Hall. And this takes us back to the bad, naughty map that's wrong. Expect the unexpected. Battery's getting low on the camera, but I think we're done for the day. We're gonna come back to the map one last time. We did the circle about. We're gonna pick our route back to the car and then tomorrow we'll come up from the south end. So a quick recap. There's where we're parked. So we hike to and we hike down here. Let's see, we, we didn't go down this one. 
We came this way, went that way, saw the car, come back around this way. I remember seeing that trail. And, uh, so we're going to go ahead and hike back this way, back to the car. And tomorrow morning we'll park here. I've always wanted to hike this trail up. Maybe even see if we can actually see a lake. So here we go. We took that roundabout, roundabout, and back up to the car. Vominos. We're going to go through it again because it was so pretty and peaceful down here. And it had a good place to sit. Away we go. Hey, dare me to cross that? Not. <laughs> Made it back to the squat log. I wonder what my pedo... Peda... Pedo meter, peter meter, pedometer. I wonder what my pedometer says right now. I haven't checked. Yeah, about 10,000 steps by the end of the trip, I'm sure. It's better than no thousand trips. Or did I say trips? <laughs> Yesterday I had 30,000 steps. By the end of the day, I never used a pedometer before. I suppose it's in your smartphone now these days. I forgot to check the time when I left. That was big, whatever it was. My shadow is getting shorter, the sun is getting higher. It's getting later in the day. Shadow tells you direction and time. Always keep an eye on your shadow. I hear music and laughter. We have come to the end of the forest. And my legs feel like rubber. Okay, to the car. I believe we have to go back into the woods for a short bit, and then that's it. I don't find this trail to be as private as where I have been hiking. I feel like I have more privacy at Kimball Pines than I do at the Ott. Got residents right up on it, too. That makes a difference. This sand is tough to walk in. You sink right in. Is that asparagus right there? Uh, this is much easier to walk on. And as I thought, it goes back into the woods briefly. We made it. All done. So there we go. We're right here. We went around. And then we went around again. And then we went up. So I've hiked this whole thing, officially. I did it! I have officially completed the trail from Historic Bridge all the way up to here. Part two will come tomorrow if you're watching this in the future. Part two up here. And uh, stay tuned for part two if you're just now watching this as I uploaded it.